is going to practice is activating a call box. Job button. Yes. Awesome. So this call box is just for training purposes and it's not actually connected to a phone line. But the idea is that the veteran could program it in order to contact a loved one or even to connect to emergency services like 911. So you can see that Charlie uses his paw <laughs> to activate the button. And it's kind of like people use their feet to press the pedal down in a car. It's the same, yeah. same sort of behavior. Awesome, Charlie. So if the veteran does not have access to this kind of system, another option we can do for emergency situations is train the dog to retrieve a phone. At America's Vet Dogs, we customize every dog to every veteran to make sure it balances the needs and lifestyle of the person the dog is going to. Charlie, phone. That's it, come on. Oh, God, bud. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Yes. So you can see that Charlie is retrieving yes. the phone using a special tab. So. He did drop the phone the first time, so we're going to give him another chance to do it. Good. Mistakes are really just information for us during training. They're no problem at all. And he's going to have another chance to get it right. Sorry, phone. Yes. Perfect. Just like that. Give. Excellent. So he retrieves, nice. retrieves the phone on that strap in order to minimize the risk of damage to the phone Ooh. screen. So Charlie's responding yep. to all of these um, emergency responses on a verbal cue right now. So if the veteran needs, what we can do is we can actually transition to a physical cue. Um, like, for example, if the veteran were to fall, that could activate Charlie's response in order to go and get the phone. The third response we're gonna practice today is Charlie learning to let another person in the house know that his veteran needs some help. So there's three steps to this behavior. Charlie. I'm going to be that person that he gets today. And those steps are on the cue to get help, he's going to run away from his handler in order to come towards me. He's going to nudge my leg to get my attention. And then when I ask him what, he's going to run back to his trainer in order to uh, let me know where that person is in distress. Now we're doing a very short distance today because like I said, this is just training, but throughout his progression, he can go further distances and we can get to the point where he goes around corners or at different floors of the building in order to find that person. I'll see it, buddy. Tar, get help. Yes, good job. Awesome, buddy. Good. Okay, Charlie, what? Yes. Good boy. <laughs> Alright, so there's a lot of running back and forth with this training. As you can see, Good. he ran to the button, he ran to the phone, he ran to me. So we're kind of wrapping up here. We keep our sessions short and sweet and positive. But as a final note, we would love for you to spread the word about America's Vet Dogs. If you are a veteran or you know of a veteran that could benefit from a highly skilled service dog like Charlie, please visit our website, vetdogs.org, to get more information because we are here to help. We're located in Smithtown, New York, and we serve veterans of all eras at no cost to the veteran, and we are here for you guys. So um, we would love for you to check back in next week, sorry, next month, in order to see Charlie's training progression. And, um, but for now, we 